Hello everyone, welcome to Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad. In this video, I would like to discuss about power electronic questions. In ISRO 2025 paper, let's solve from the question number 1. Question 1 is, in a single phase full wave control rectifier using SCRs with a resistive load, the firing angle is set to alpha is equal to 60 degrees. Which of the following statement is true? Regarding the average output voltage, assume ideal conditions. Vm is a peak input voltage. Option 1 is V uh, average value is equal to Vm by 5, 1 plus cos 60 degrees. V average value equal to 2 Vm by 5, 1 minus cos 60 degrees. V average value equal to v, 2 Vm by 5, 1 plus cos 60 degrees. And V average value is equal to Vm by uh, Vm cos 60 degrees. And given here single phase full wave control rectifier using SCRs with a resistive load that is discontinuous current current mode. So that V naught RMS value is equal to Vm by uh, Vm by 5 1 plus cos alpha where alpha is a firing angle and Vm is a maximum supply voltage. Now, uh, given that alpha is equal to 60 degrees, just substitute here. So, V naught average value is equal to Vm by 5, the 1 plus cos the 60 degrees. So, answer for this question, the V average value is equal to Vm by 5, 1 plus cos 60 degrees. So, option, the 1 is correct for this question. Anka simplify yalan kunna pudu, V naught average value is equal to Vm by 5, the 1 plus cos, cos 60 degrees is equal to 1 by 2 and it is equal to 3 by, so Vm by 2, uh, Vm by 5, so 5, so this is the 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 simplifier, so this value is equal to 3 Vm by, the 2 pi is the exactly answer. Kanmana ka option lo, uh, v direct formula is V average value is equal to Vm by 5, 1 plus cos 60 degrees. And next one, let's solve the question number two. Which of the following a uh, power semiconductor device is not a self commutating device? Option one, thyristor. Option two, MOSFET. Option three, IGBT. And option four, GTO. And here, MOSFET, GTO, IGBT are self commutating switches. That means no other methods are required to turn off these devices, but the thyristor is a uh, commutating switch here extra commutation circuit is required to turn off the thyristor here question is that not self commutating device so thyristor is the answer for this question let us solve the question number three in a single phase full control bridge converter feeding highly inductive load what happens if the firing angle is increased from the 30 degrees to 120 degrees option one output voltage increases power factor improves and option 2 output voltage decreases power factor improves option 3 output voltage decreases power factor varies and option uh, up to output voltage increases power factor is varies and our, our power factor is decreases and what is the answer for this question uh, highly inductive load given that single phase full control bridge converter feeding highly inductive load when rectifier is operated with a highly inductive load, load current is constant and refill free. So that output voltage V naught average value is equal to the 2 Vm by 5 the cos alpha. So from this equation we can, uh, we can get V naught average directly proportional to the cos alpha value. As alpha increases from 30 degrees to 120 degrees, so cos alpha decreases. So, angle increases, the cos of that angle decreases. So, that V naught average value, okay, V naught average value will be the decrease. And this is about average output voltage. And next one, what will happen in the power factors? And power factors, the input power factor is equal to, so input power factor, and this is equal to, so here, uh, cos, uh, the input power factor is, is nothing but, the G into fundamental displacement factor, where fundamental displacement factor is nothing but cos alpha, where G is a, the distortion factor. And this distortion factor is equal to 0 0.9 times of 
and cos alpha values. So this one is the 0 0.9 into the cos alpha. Input power factor is also the directly proportional to the cos alpha. As alpha increases, the cos of that alpha decreases and so that the input power factor is also the decreases. So answer is for this question, output voltage decrease as well as the input power factor is also decrease. So option the 3 is correct for this question. And next one, let us solve the question number 4. A single phase inverter using bipolar PWM produces an output voltage waveform with a switching frequency much higher than higher than the fundamental frequency. If the modulation index m is increased from 0 0.8 to 1.2, how does the amplitude of the output fundamental output voltage changes? Option 1, it increases linearly with ma even behind and it increases with uh, modulation index even behind 1 and then saturated. It saturated then remain constant behind ma is equal to 1 and it increases behind ma is equal to 1. So, amplitude of the fundamental output voltage depends on the modulation index and it increases okay, with ma and behind 1 then uh, behind 1 even behind 1 then after it is saturated. So, that option the 2 is correct for this question. And next one let us solve the question number 5. Uh, in a single phase full bridge inverter with a square wave output, uh, what is the amplitude of the third harmonic component of the fundament, third harmonic component if the fundamental output volt, uh, amplitude is V? Option 1 is V by 3, option 2 is V by 5 and option 3 is V by 9 and option 4 is V by 7. So, we know that V naught of T output voltage is equal to the sigma n is equal to 1, 3, 5 to infinity 4 v s by n phi the 4 v s by n phi the sin n omega t. So, this is output voltage equation from this fundamental voltage the peak value of the fundamental output voltage. So, this peak value of the fundamental output voltage that is v 0 1 p or v 0 1 maximum value or amplitude of the fundamental output voltage that value is equal to 4 V s by the phi. So, this was given uh, is equal to this if the fundament, fundamental amplitude is equal to the V. So, this I can say that V, but we require the V 0 1 uh, V 0 3 maximum. So, this value is equal to the 4 V s by 3 phi. So, this value you can write instead of 4 V s by 3 you can write V by 3. So, that answer for this question option 1 is correct of V by 3 is the right answer for this question. So, there are 5 questions in ISRO EC 2025. So, this was the discussion about power electronic question. I hope you got it. Thank you very much.